Dude, I am running and almost catching up to this bike, man. I guess because I'm on the inner lane, but still. Oh, no, I couldn't catch quite up to him. All right, I got him this time. I got him. I got him. Ready? Ready? Uh, and oh, no, I walked past him. I got to have it this time. Where is he? How does he keep? You've got to be kidding me. I don't understand. Okay. I'm just... What? No. One, two, three, come on, make it. What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Obsidian. Last episode we made it here to the biggest city in this region and unfortunately I don't actually remember the name of this city but I know that at the very end of the last episode we stopped some ruffians from uh, I guess I don't know bullying or beating up this guy that owns a shop and also met a vigilante superhero named Crimson and he actually helped us escape from pretty much death so we kind of owe our life to him now, and I don't even know who that guy is. So hopefully in today's episode, we can get some more information as to what the heck is going on in this game, and specifically in this city, because as you're going to see, oh, I guess this is the Elite Four building. I thought this was the uh, Pokemon, or sorry, the Pokemon Gym, yeah, but there's an Ice-type Gym in this game. Sorry to inform you, but no one's in right now. All right, peace out, lady. I didn't want to be in there anyway, but either way, if you guys are excited for another episode of Obsidian, make sure to leave a like. Thank you so much for the support on the series either way we are actually going to be uh, training up some more today because even though there is an ice type gym coming up i think we are far from ready to take that place on actually eeyore especially being our only fire type pokemon is only level 18 and only has ember and digs so yeah not exactly uh in shape to take on an ice type gym right now but thankfully this city is a little bit different from every other usual pokemon city even the major big ones because there are actually some trainers around here, actually gang members. I think this one might be one of them. Why are you snooping around here? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't really planning on snooping. It just kind of happened that way. I was more so just walking around looking for trainers, and then you just so happen to be one. So we're going to send out Barry, who's actually been doing pretty well in the last few episodes, just gaining up them levels and now almost at level 30. So I think almost all of our Pokemon that we have right now, aside from Eeyore and... Uh, well, I did leave Mafu at the daycare, I guess, so there is Mafu who I kind of am still thinking about uh, every once in a while, so I gotta go get back and get him eventually, but uh, for now, most of our Pokemon are at level 30, which I really am enjoying that because that means that they're all soon gonna evolve into their final form, and oh man, it is gonna be so awesome, but we can't do that without any more training, and right now, it is actually getting really difficult for some reason to train up Numel. I mean, even this battle, look at this, I, I don't know, man, we're just not doing the damage that I'm expecting, but... We do have Swagger, and that's really something that if you don't, if you have Swagger, it's like, does it really matter what attacks you even use, man? Because you got Swagger, so what else do you need? I guess Mankey. Yeah, I just really want Eeyore to get some more levels, but we don't have any XP share in this game yet, and actually it's a little bit difficult for Eeyore to fight battles on his own, I guess. I guess we can try it out, right? Come on, Ember. Oh, really? You got critical hit? Come on, man. At least we got the burn, I guess. Um, but yeah, I... I don't know if we'll survive another scratch, uh, considering he's burned, he does half damage, but he goes for low kick, so, okay, I mean, you kind of just brought upon your own Doom Mankey there, I don't know what was up with that, but Primeape was the Pokemon that at the end of the last episode I could not quite take down, so let's see if this time things go a little bit different. Alright, Perp, you're out here this time, you're getting Fury Swipe, but you know what, bro, you're gonna take it all on, because you're a big, strong, independent, purple... Thing of what what even is Nido King to be honest? I don't know. Like what animal, real life animal is he even based off? I guess a rhinoceros in a way. I don't know. He's got the the one horn. Maybe a unicorn. That would definitely make more sense. But either way, uh Eeyore is right now learning magnitude, which is pretty awesome of an attack, I must say. Dig is two turns, even though it does a lot of damage. Like, I don't really like two turn attacks. Wow. You really had to kill the music, bro? I mean, I guess if you have the authority, you can always kill the music. Or something like that. Uh, but I need to heal up after that battle because we got really beat up. And actually, since we have a minute here, not only are we going to chew it over with Twix, but we're going to check out the Fan Art Spotlight. Starting off with some artwork of our entire team, we always got to keep up with the current state of the team. And even though Mafu is not really with us right now, these two artworks uh, have him in there. So I feel really bad kind of leaving Mafu behind. I feel like we should go back and get him from the daycare center at some point. But... Uh, moving along, we have a very awesome artwork of Luxray, which we don't quite have a Luxray yet, but I thought this fan art was just really cool because 
I like seeing um, Pokemon trainers that kind of look like the Pokemon. I know that that art style has a specific like name for it, but I can't remember. Either way, look at this. I don't even know what's going on. 500 Dicka is back and Cocky Pound is holding him. It's kind of weird that they both had names that had something to do with, uh, you know, Cocky Pound Amiibo coming to a store near you today. Not really, though. That was awesome, though. Thank you for the fan art, especially the, the Amiibo. I just thought it was so funny. I don't know. Amiibo are really cool. Imagine actually having Amiibo of more Pokemon characters. I mean, we have a lot of them, but still. Koki Pound Amiibo, dude, that would be amazing. The Brawlers were all drunk one night and destroyed these stairs. I guess it doesn't matter because people only live on the first floor. How does it not matter, dude? You have an entire second floor that you can't access now. Ah. Either way, thank you guys again for all the fan art. As always, if you want to send in your other ones, or if you want to send in some rather, you do so at twitter.com slash munchingorange, or anywhere really that you can find me, because I'm going to try to be more active on my stuff. I know a lot of people sent me some on Instagram, but I legit didn't even know how to find Instagram messages for the longest time until someone showed me recently, and I was like, dude, how have I been missing out on all this stuff this whole time? Like, that's just great. Crazy, man. Crazy. I honestly don't know what's going on in this house either, though, but... As long as these people don't give us any items, then I'm not really gonna care. That guy was just calling us ignorant, I'm pretty sure, which is exactly what I'm being right now. Not paying attention to this juicy information uh, that these people are giving us. But I guess this is the headquarters of this gang right here. The, what are they called actually? The Brawlers? There's like two gangs in this town. They're, oh, Zang, okay. So there's the Zang clan and the Viper gang, which I guess one of them goes for uh, Zangoose, and the other one goes for Seviper. It makes sense, you know, they've always been the rivaling Pokemon, so why wouldn't there be gangs that fight for their right to something? Fight for your right to party, that's the run. I'm not really partying right now, though. The people in that house were most definitely party animals, I would assume, if they destroyed some stairs. Like, how do you even destroy some stairs, bro? To the point where you can't get up to a second floor of a building? Or even beyond that, because that building is way taller than just two floors. And those people, like, basically no one will ever be able to get up there anymore. That's that's pretty, pretty, pretty. I, I don't really know about that. <laughs> but out comes Machoke. And that's not really something that Eeyore can handle right now. I mean, he's been getting the levels, at least almost level 20 now. But just not really the Pokemon I want to be going up against right now. Some, like... Nice icy types would be nice uh, because that's what's coming up in the gym anyway. So be a little bit of good practice. I know that I'm definitely going to have to do a lot more training to Eeyore um, at this rate because right now the switching in and out method is just not working out. It's it's not getting us what we need. So I, I think I might, um, when we get out of the city, eventually check out what is in the outskirts because there's probably another route with some new Pokemon that we can catch. And who knows, maybe there might even be some stronger fire types that we can... Uh, gather up real quick for that ice type gym but for now let's take out this last gang members last pokemon and call it a night cheyenne this was a pokemon battle not a fist fight what are you trying to tell me i know what i was just doing i fight you but i don't need to be arrested again really these people man these people but back here um it seems like we got some kind of alley with a i guess a manhole cover what, what do they call those I don't know what those are called. I wonder if these biker trainers want to battle, though. I feel like I can catch up to him. Oh, my God. Dude, I am running and almost catching up to this bike, man. I guess because I'm outside on the inner lane, but still. Oh, no, I couldn't catch quite up to him. All right, I got him this time. I got him. I got him. Ready? Ready? Uh, and cut. And oh, no, I walked past him. You know what I realized? What if I just stand in the middle of the road? Won't he just stop right in front of me? Eventually. He's coming, right? Are you? Hello? Biker? Are you coming or what? Like, where did he go? What the heck? He completely disappeared. What? No. Okay. I will stop this guy. Like, at no co No matter what the cost is. Because now I'm genuinely curious. What? Are you kidding me? How am I unable to just stop this guy ever? I got it this time, right? I got to have it this time. Where is he? How does he keep... You've got to be kidding me. I am legitimate... What? What? Like, <laughs> how hard can it be to stop a guy on a bike? For real. I don't understand. Okay. I'm just... What? No! Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm done. I'm done with that. I obviously couldn't do it, so let's just... Let's just fight Tanner, you know? That was it for Tanner. That was not it, however, for the biker. I still really just, I want to know what he has to say. It's just so interesting 
now that we've been going after him for so long, I gotta know. I'm training for a triathlon. That's really it. Well, that was a huge waste of time. Anyway, there's definitely still more to this city, and it's actually so big that I don't even know which area of it I want to explore first. Either way, if we're gonna explore any of this city, our Pokemon will probably need to be healed up in case we run into any more gang members, just like these guys. And of course, uh, when I don't even wanna run into the guy, I do. Here is Ark, let's see what he's up to. Oh good, you were just saved as I predicted. What did the man that saved you say? Hmm, interesting. Looks like we have a watchful guardian on our side. I saw you get kidnapped, but there wasn't anything I could do, so I'm glad he intervened. He must be the one called Crimson from over in Kanto? He's been hunting ex-Rockets. Okay, if his name is Crimson and he's an ex-Kanto, and Crimson is kind of a different word for a red or kind of a different shade of red, I wonder who this could be. Perhaps he's moving on to take out Lucan and his crew. Speaking of which, I saw you guys come out of the Elite Four headquarters. Any idea what he was doing there? Huh, he wanted to leave a message. Do you think someone from the National Elite Four is working with him? This may go deeper than we thought, Orange. And Cyrus is missing. I'm not quite sure who that is. Maybe it's the man that was running Team Plasma in Sinnoh? Yeah, that sounds right. Well, interesting. Okay, well, if you haven't battled the gym leader here yet, you should try your hand at it. Could be some good training before we take off. I'm gonna go to the west end of the city, then run down the residential area. I'll ask around and see if anyone saw them leave. I'll be waiting there to leave. Alright, goodbye, Ark. Here's the gym. Um, I'm not sure that we're quite ready to take on Zachio. That reminds me of Zatch Bell. Wasn't that a pretty good show? I don't actually remember what the heck it was about, but I think it was pretty good back when it was coming out. Like, I would actually watch it. Anyway... Let's check out some of the other uh, buildings and places in this city. Oh, never mind. We actually already kind of went in this building. How have I already explored this whole place? It seems so big that there's no way I could have explored all of it, but apparently we did. So here's a museum. There's a lot of cool artifacts. I hear they're getting some artifacts from Sinnoh soon too. Ooh, well, I guess we should check it out now, especially since it's got Sinnoh in there. Feel free to look around as long as you'd like. If you don't like to donate anything, feel free to talk to the people at the other desk. Why would I donate anything? Does it actually do anything? Like, oh, for our aquarium, we only take one donation at a time, and since we feel bad just taking Pokemon, we'll trade. Ah, so never mind, it's not just donating Poke money, which I thought it was. I was like, what would be the point in that in the game? Of course, donating isn't bad, but in this game, I'm not sure. But they're looking for a Magikarp. And we don't actually have a Magikarp, so as sad as that sounds that we don't have a Magikarp, it's pretty sad, right? But uh, these guys want a bug Pokemon, so what kind of bug Pokemon will it be? Let's find out. It's Caterpie! No, I'm good. So apparently you get a random Pokemon. That sounds really cool, actually, but I don't have any fossils or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that. Uh, never mind. Thank you! What is a wing fossil, though? Was that like the replacement for the old Amber? I don't know, but... Let's see what's at the back of this museum. So far, nothing. But I think as we bring in Pokemon here, it might actually start getting filled up. Just like Animal Crossing. If that is the case, man, that would be so sick. Like, why haven't we had that in Pokemon yet? Here's uh, Renegade by Shade of Shinon. Okay. Got uh, Sky Guardian too. Also by the same person. Pretty good artwork there. Uh, I'm just not sure why we're really looking at it right now. They all look really cool though. Heavy Metal Dragon. I don't know if this is like a DeviantArt or maybe this person actually worked on art for the game, but you know what? It looks cool regardless and it is a museum and really when we look at museums in Pokemon, you don't actually even get to look at the artwork. So the fact that we actually get to for once is actually really cool. So never mind. I don't know why I was hating for a second. Here's another one with Xerneas. Whoa, that's pretty sick. Horizontal. I don't really get the, the titles for the paintings. I would say that's probably the part I would work on the most, but... Aside from that, pretty awesome. There's a Silver Wing, and then we got ho -Oh, which I'm assuming also has the Rainbow Wing. Don't know why those are just laying around there where anyone could grab them, but sure. Anyway, that's it for the museum, by the looks of things, because we don't have any donations to make for now, so not much else we can do. But if we ever do get a Magikarp, or a Caterpie, or a Fossil, then uh, I will definitely be more than down to do so. This guy's... Apparently gets sick too. Everybody in the city talks about getting sick. I don't get that. Like, why live in the city if you're gonna get sick, man? I guess people have to live in it, but whatever. You better not be associated with those brawlers or punks. No, I'm good, man. I'm just I'm just a good old guy heading into the bar, about to talk to some of the people. My wife and I like to have a few drinks every once in a while. Not wrong with that. 
Yeah, there really isn't anything wrong with that. It's just, just so fun. It's an inex- Oh, it's an expensive habit. I thought she was gonna say it was inexpensive, and I was like, no, nah, lady, I think you might be wrong about that. This place has some good food. I come here for lunch and dinner. I don't like to stick around too late into the night, though. Yeah, probably because you're in a really dangerous town in a freaking bar. These puny kids think they can mess with Antonio. They got another thing coming. Who's Antonio? Are you Antonio? You don't look old enough to drink, kid. I'll let you stay. Just don't be making any trouble. <laughs> I'm glad the Pokemon laws work that way, where they just let the kids stay in the bar, because that's fine. It's hard to pick up chicks in a place like this. It's not fit for chicks, I guess. Dude, you need to get out of here and go to somewhere different. I don't know, but we can't really get that item. Even though it looks so tempting on that table, it's actually, like, inaccessible. And therefore, I feel like I don't know if it's actually an item that you're intended to get ever, or if it's just put there, like, troll. I don't know, but it would be funny if it is an item just to troll, and it probably contains, like, a Master Ball or something that you'll just never be able to get. Unless you walk through walls, of course, but who knows? Maybe later on that guy will move out of his chair, and we'll actually be able to get the item. But anyway, there are actually some more punks back here in the uh, alley, I guess, behind the bar. So we'll make quick work of them. And they actually thankfully have Pokemon, or at least this guy. I don't really know if there's any more trainers. I'm just saying they because I assume so. You know, it is an organization, so you would assume that an organization will have more than just one guy with an Onyx. But still, um, they have Pokemon that Eeyore can actually handle for once, which is very refreshing because Eeyore hasn't been able to fight his own battles at all until now. Really? Magnitude 4? Why would you get magnitude 4? I honestly thought that like 6 was the lowest and then and then 4 comes out and it's just like, dude, you really got magnitude 4. Alright, there's the 8. Now, now you're dead. Okay. But I'm wondering if there's actually anything in this alley or just more trainers. You're gonna get hurt if you wander into the wrong territory. Well, that's exactly why I'm wandering even farther behind. Because there isn't anything. We keep finding these manholes, but I don't know if you can actually go down into the sewers of this city or what. But anyway, here is the gym once again. So we've come full circle. I think we've explored almost the entire city as far as I know. Um, back over this way, I guess. Oh, never mind. There's the entire turf of the biker gang still. Viper gang, not biker. This is our turf, kid. You better back off. Um, sorry to disappoint you, buddy, but I kind of want some experience. So I'm going to have a hard time backing off from here. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and battle you guys. All of you, actually. Man, this city's so huge that I just keep thinking we're almost done exploring it, and then there's a whole nother area. It's kind of sad, though, that still I don't know what the name of this place is when we've been here the whole time. And I did actually read the sign for the gym and still didn't pay attention to the name of the city, so... I mean, at this point, it's just, it's my fault, you know? I, I just didn't pay any attention at all. And I sometimes think, like, I mean, some of you guys might agree with me on this, but... At least for me, you know, I think half of the attention comes from the fact that I just... Maybe I'm so forgetful, but still, if, if like if you're not really looking to pay attention, then you're obviously not going to. Like, I wasn't really keeping in mind the fact that I wanted to know the city name, and so when it came up, I didn't even think about it. So, maybe next time I will, considering now I do want to know the name of the city since we've been here for so long, and I still don't know it. But, there's a poor little Growlithe, <gasps> and a Vulpix, wow, man, this Viper Gang, okay. I might just have to consider joining up, because if you guys are going to have all these cute fire types, then... How am I supposed to resist it? They're just, they're so nice. I just love Vulpix and Growlithe. They're just, I don't know. They're some of my favorite, like, Pokemon and just fire types. I really like fire types, man. But there's the first one, and there's their little Viper gang member tattoo sign logo thing. We don't just let kids hang around, so you better scream. Or scram. Scream too, whatever. You got a lot of guts coming around here. Oh, well, I got a lot of guts, and I'm about to show you, girl. They're gonna be your own guts after I gouge you out. That is gross. Not gross, but that is also just not something I would ever think to do. Especially to another human, man. That's just messed up. What's wrong with me? I wouldn't mind doing that to uh, Coughing, though, because he is already kind of all toxic. And I mean, he's, his name is Coughing for a reason. He's one of the first poison type Pokemon because you gotta be kidding me. You really self destructed there, dude. Thankfully, it didn't kill us, but what is this Pokemon coming out next? Chargo? Hold up. Oh my god, what? I think, okay, well, I know this is one of the starter Pokemon, but we just haven't seen one in so long that I even forgot there were other Fakemon. And actually, that reminds me, there's actually a Fakemon that we can get right now as of this moment in the game. It's just, I skipped over his quest line, and so we could definitely go back and backtrack. I think 
In the next episode, um, well, either way, we'll be taking on the gym. But after the gym, I'm thinking we could definitely go backtrack a little bit and check out some of the areas that we might have skipped over because there's a lot of Pokemon and specifically a couple of Fakemon that we can get, um, but only through side questing because there's actually more Fakemon in this game. And I know that some people... Um, really look forward to the Fakemon when I play these Pokemon hacks, but this one so far has been kind of a mix of both. Honestly, it's only been the starters so far that we've seen that are Fakemon, and there are more, but we just haven't seen them yet, but yeah, there's one of them that we could see. I just, I don't know why. I didn't even know that you could get a, another Fakemon. I just didn't ever do the missions, but yeah, we'll go back and do that for sure now, now that I think about it. Like, I really do want to check out the, the Fakemon myself, so there's really no reason not to go back. Hopefully this does not re wait what Eeyore no how could you die I guess there is hail and poison and you know it's 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 a coughing at the end of the day he's he's gonna be coughing and wheezing and what shelter what what is this what kind of team is this see at first I thought that they were just poison and fire Pokemon but now they got anything they want really just anything purple which, actually, Perp is pretty purple. He's got Perp in his name, so maybe you guys should uh, induct me into your little cult thing you got going on here. I don't know if it's a cult or a gang or whatever it is. I want to be a part of it. If you got Vulpix's Growlithe and purple Pokemon, you know, it really just, it's its basically meant for me. Like, I just, I don't know. But we meet this guy. And now I don't have to talk about whatever I was talking about because it made no sense anyway. But... They have actually a little building right here, so we're going to check it out just like we did the previous buildings. You don't look familiar. You sure you're in the right place, kid? Um, definitely not in the right place, but apparently there's people that live here. Huh? How are people living? Okay, I guess everybody's got to live somewhere, right? But seriously, these people literally have a gang right outside of their home. How could you ever feel comfortable living here? I completely regret moving here. I always feel uncomfortable seeing those punks around. Seriously, dude, I don't know how you could live here. Honestly, I I wouldn't be able to at least like I just not even com comfort But like I would just feel paranoid all the time of the punks kind of stealing and beating up people I don't know if you want to get to our boss to take you seriously. You'll have to prove your loyalty Wait, no way. Can I actually join this club or gang or whatever because that would be totally dope Come back once you have a few more badges. Wow. Oh, look at this cutie. How old are you, like, 12? Ah, 17. I wouldn't have guessed. Please leave me, child. You have nothing of interest to in me. Really? Well, that is immature of you, sir. Judging me based purely on age. Tisk tisk. how dare you. But I guess we'll have to come back when we do have more badges. But it is interesting to me that it sounds like you might have the opportunity to join that gang. Girls have too much estrogen, they think too deeply about things and end up overreacting. You know, that sounds more like me, so maybe I'm a girl. Guys have too much testosterone and never think before they act. Okay, that also sounds like me, so I might be both. Or neither, I don't know. I don't want to see both of them sounded like me. When I think about it though, like, I don't know, you're always going to see guys that kind of have or do things that you would typically say girls do. And you're always going to have girls that act or do things typically that guys would do. So, honestly, it doesn't even matter whether you have estrogen, testosterone, whatever. I mean, it, obviously it does, but still, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. You know, girls will be girls, boys will be boys, and boys will meet world. And there's also a girl meets world now, so I guess girls meet world too. There's a bank there. I've never been a fan of banks. I just keep all my money in a... You know, we won't say where we keep all the money, but... The end of the city limits, and maybe the end of this episode... Oh, never mind. What is even going on over here? Is this where uh, Crimson saved us, that superhero? Man, I kind of miss him already. Like, we already know pretty obviously who he's going to end up being. I'm not going to spoil it because I don't know, actually. I don't know 100%, but I think that uh, signs lead to a pretty obvious uh, choice here. Either way, I don't know if we actually checked out the police academy. People think we're heroes sometimes. It's just a job, kid. Don't look up to some of those mans like they're flawless. Lots of us ain't telling you much. What? I mean, that always made sense to me, at least, because cops are just a job. Same with firemen, same with anything. Like, they do an awesome job that helps people out sometimes, but at the end of the day, some people are just going to treat it like a job because that's just where they get their paycheck. And so you got to keep in mind that not every cop and not every, uh, you know, I guess I guess fireman is just my other, what is it, example, but it doesn't really have to be that kind of job. All I'm saying is, you know, 
it's it's just a job for some of these cops and so maybe that's why we see some of them just doing whatever the heck they want because they don't care they're just getting their paycheck anyway i think that's it for this city now officially because i can't seem to find the other entrance or exit which actually here it is so to the outskirts of the city we go wait a second is this like a second half of the town oh this is repossessed by the bank because the families couldn't make their payments i believe most of them moved to other towns perhaps up north i hear housing's pretty cheap up there i mean it's because it's cold man no one wants to deal with the cold anyway thank you so much for watching next time we will explore the western half of rosewood city and talk to uh whoever this guy is it looks pretty interesting so I'm, I'm very curious to find out what's going on but i'll see you all then